Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today we are going to talk about Pi. What is P-I-E Pi? Now, have you ever tried uh, using CSS3 with older versions of IE? And uh, did you actually notice that uh, it hardly ever works? So there has to be a workaround. Yes, there are uh, there are solutions. What separates a uh, a great web developer from an ordinary is once you start tackling different screen resolutions, uh, different uh, screen sizes and different browsers especially older versions of IE and uh, succeed at that then uh, you have migrated to a, a good web developer from an ordinary one. Right. Uh, Let's bring up a website in front of you. And right. This is the one that I was talking about. CSS3Pi.com. Let's be on the home page. Now Pi makes Internet Explorer 6 through 9 capable of rendering several of the most uh, useful CSS3 decoration features. Uh, let's go to the about section. Now CSS level 3 brings with it some incredibly powerful features like rounded corners, uh, soft drop shadows, gradient fill, so on and so forth. And uh, we know that it's, you know, doesn't actually work with the older versions of IE. Now PI, which stands for Progressive Internet Explorer, it is an IE attached behavior which when applied to an element allows IE to recognize and display a number of CSS3 properties. The support is sometimes full, sometimes partial people depending on what feature, what property you would want to attach. Right. And before I continue any further, I would like to show you a browser preview. Now have a look at this uh, div or a division. You see this is the preview in IE 9. I've tested it in IE 8 and 7. It's just is the same. It's absolutely the same. I've used uh, border radius out here for the rounded corners at 10 px each and I've also used a linear vertical gradient fill and it's working to perfection in IE 9, 8 and uh, 7. I do not have, I, I can't test it in 6 but I'm, I'm absolutely sure that it will work in 6 too. Right and if I were to have a look at the same uh, preview but in a different browser, Chrome that is, uh, just looks exactly the same. We have this vertical linear gradient and 10 px of border radius applied to it alright so how this, did this actually happen uh, it goes without saying pi came to the rescue what exactly is pi pi gives you a set of files that you can attach uh, in a way that I'm about to show you that changes the behavior the intrinsic or the inbuilt behavior of IE and uh, then that acts as a workaround let me uh, take you through uh, this document okay now have a look out here people. I've used doctype5, uh, html5 doctype and uh, this is the title. In the opening and the closing style tags I've used internal style people. I've attached a background color to the body of pound triple three which is this color, the darkish color which is very close to the color black. And then for the only div of the division which has an idea of wrapper. I've used a width of 75% of the entire width available, height at 800px. Margin left and right have been set to auto, that's gonna center the wrapper div. I've used border radius of 10px to allow for the rounded corners. I've also used linear gradient and uh, set vertically from console to the color chocolate. We are allowed 147 color names in HTML. So apart from using the RGB, RGBA or the um, hex codes, we can also use color names as I've used out here. Okay, now 
if you would want to use uh, if, you, if you would want to show the uh, you know the color gradient in RE this is the way you'll need to prefix just the way we write dash or dash for older versions of Opera dash uh, Moz dash MOZ dash for older versions of Mozilla Firefox dash webkit dash for Safari and Chrome older versions that is most contemporary browsers these days uh, can handle uh, CSS3 without window prefixes like dash Moz dash dash uh, webkit dash etc uh, this line itself is suffice to show the linear gradient in most contemporary browsers but for IE and older versions I've used this prefix right and not only that I'm pointing to a pi.htc file which I actually got from their website let me show you my local site folder let me bring it up this is the test.html file that, the file that I'm showing you at the moment and it's attached to this folder pi and it's actually referencing pi.htc file all these files have been uploaded to the server people you can grab all these files from their own website let me bring up the website once again you see there's a download button out here out here right once you click this download button you will get all the different files that you can see at the moment out here in my local site folder inside the pi folder We'll actually need just this uh, file at the top, HTC file, pi.htc. These are uh, different alternatives, just in case this doesn't work. But in most cases, in almost all the cases, this file itself is sufficient. People, you'll need to upload all these files to your server before it'll actually work. You will not, you should not test it in, uh, you know, on your local hard disk. Will not work, right? So we have JavaScript files, PHP files. We have the un uncompressed versions out here. But this is exactly what you really need and nothing else strictly speaking right so this test file is tied to this pi.htc file and that's through the behavior property people and set to uh, pi folder and pi.htc file that's all that you need to do just use the prefix out here before the background to allow for the linear gradient to work and for the border radius to work you just need to put this behavior you just need to use the behavior property inside the wrapper once you do this not only does the uh, background show as linear in IE 6, 7, 8, 9 you know you'll be able to see the border radius too and that's all that is there too um, using pi and uh, let me show you something else let me show you demo and example sites. Let me show you demo gradient patterns. You know, on their website, people, you'll notice that you can easily build different kind of uh, horizontal stripes, vertical stripes, uh, gradient patterns with transparencies too. You see how cool this is. And this is just code, people. And everywhere you'll notice that they've used dash, pi, dash, and uh, behavior. Uh, is pointing to the pi.htc file again people you need to upload it to the server and test it from there before it'll actually work don't test it on the local hard disk all right so you know these are all examples of different gradients angled uh, gradients out here okay but as far as these uh, fancy looking gradients is concerned the support is only for ie9 and not for IE628 for these different gradients not otherwise people right so how, how, how very cool is this one beautiful right so people um, I would urge you to visit this website I would urge you to uh, go down out here and click the download button grab those files in question that I just showed you in my local site folder okay dump it inside a folder I've called it pi you can call it whatever you want but you'll actually need just this one single file alright and uh, as I said you know most of the time you just need to prefix this uh, dash pi dash prefix before the background uh, keyword the background property and behavior to point to the pi.htc file 
and you'll be able to get full or partial support for most of the CSS3 properties. So people, I hope you uh, found this information useful. I hope you'll sub. I hope that you'll also keep coming back for more and more tutorials from me. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Peace.